Hey everybody, this is Emerald Dragon, and we're playing the Blackwell Legacy. I have absolutely no idea really about what this game is like. I um, just picked it up on Steam during the uh, Christmas sale. It was part of the uh, three pack with um, the what was it? Con Unbound and Convergence, the other two games that are on Steam from this series. But, oh, apparently I'm not even in the game and I have a letter. Huh, okay. <laughs> That's nice to know. Well, let's uh, get into it, I guess. Um, all I know is it's an adventure game and it's supposed to be somewhat half decent, so let let's see. New game. Um yes, why not? We'll we'll activate in-game instructions. In addition to on-screen instructions, you can view the instructions by clicking the help button. That's good to know. Day one. So I guess this is it. Years of watching and waiting and hoping, and it comes down to this. Do I love you? Do I miss you? I don't know for sure, I hardly know you. But you're the closest thing to family I've got, and I suppose that's something. Goodbye, Auntie. Wherever you are. What a morning. At least I'm home now. Okay, and that was the intro. And, uh, you know, a little morbid, you know, throwing your aunt's ashes off a bridge. Nice. Let's, uh, yeah, let's uh, see what the rest of it's like. Um, first off, interacting with objects. To interact with objects or characters, move the mouse cursor over them and left-click. There's a strange kid standing in front of Rosa's door, so that's her name, Rosa. Try interacting with him to see what he wants. Front door and teenager. Wonder, do we... can we press space? No. Control, shift... Hmm. There might be a, a button at some point to, you know, see everything that you can interact with. But I don't know what it is yet. Let's look there at a window are bars first. Over the windows. I'm not getting in that way. Rough neighborhood if there's there bars. There are bars over the windows. I'm not getting in that way. So same thing. Let's look at the front door. Can we get by? Hi there. Uh hi? So who are you visiting today? Huh. Okay. Let's see. Express surprise. Huh? Seriously, who are you here to see? Can't let you in unless you tell me. Um, I live here? No, you don't. I know everybody in the building. I don't know you. Hmm, now that's strange. Let's see who he is. Who the hell are you? Jim Birdo. All right, Jim. Where's the regular doorman? Geez, where have you been? He's on strike. He's what? Strike. All the building servicemen in the city are doing it. 
Union rules or something. I stepped in to help because I know everybody. How come nobody told me? Notices were posted all over the building. I put them up myself. If you lived here, you'd have seen them. Who pays attention to things like that? Well, that's not my problem. He's a bit of a dick, and she obviously doesn't give a shit what's going on in the place. So let's see what the strike's How all about. How long is the strike going to last? I don't know. Could be a couple hours or a couple days. Depend on whether they reach a settlement or not. I don't know the details. And why would you? But, uh... Let's state the facts. Really? I live here. Nice try. I know everyone in this building, and I don't know you. Sorry. I've lived here for five years. Then how come I've never seen you before? I have no idea. Doesn't matter. If you lived here, I'd know you. That's all there is to it. Surely he's got, like, a list or something he can check, rather than being a dick. So we'll give our address. Listen, I really live here. Fourth floor, number 4E. 4E? Hmm. Isn't that apartment empty? No! I live there, and I want to go there. Thank you very much. Oh. Hmm. Maybe you're telling the truth. He sees reason. Thank God. Do you have any ID? A driver's license or something? Yes. I have a driver's license. It's upstairs. In my desk drawer. Crap. <laughs> Come on, this is New York. Who actually drives? True, but I still can't let you in unless you prove you live here. Oh, now he's just being a fucking dick. Um, oh yeah, let's Out start. Out of my way. I'm going in. I wouldn't do that. Why? Are you going to stop me? Me? No. But I've got a cell phone in my pocket with 911 programmed in. All I have to do is hit send and the cops will be here in five minutes. Are you serious? Totally serious. I don't believe this. I don't believe that she's actually, you know, giving in. I mean, if she lives there and she can just go get her details, what does it matter if he calls the cops? He'll be, you know, in more trouble for uh, bringing them out for no fucking reason. But let's try appealing for sympathy. See how that goes. I kind of have a feeling it's not going to work. Please, I've had a really tough morning. I need to get home. Sorry, lady. Rules are rules. Mm, rules are rules, yeah. Fecker. Right, um... We don't have proof, so I don't know how we can show our proof. So we'll just see about asking for help. Okay, I have no ID, and you don't know me. What can I do to prove that I live here? Hmm. Well, can anyone in the building vouch for you? I'm not sure. I mean, I don't really know anybody here. How long have you lived here again? Be quiet. Not all of us are social butterflies. Okay, whatever. Hey, what about Nishanti Sharma? She could vouch for you. You know, I, I don't know why he's being all surprised by the fact that she might not know many people. Because I've been living where I am for a couple of years now, and there's only a couple of people in the whole estate that I actually, you know, know, so... Oh, well, uh, let's ask about this Nishanti person. Who is this Nis... uh, Nish... Nishanti. Nishanti Sharma. She lives in 4F, you know, right next door to 4E. You really don't get out much, do you? Your point? Nothing, but I'm sure she could vouch for you. Great, call her up. She's not here. Of course she isn't, so I gotta wait here all day for her. You might have to, although she usually goes to Washington Square Park in the morning. You can look for her there. Ha ha! We have somewhere to go. I'll be back. See you around. Activating the inventory bar. Rosa is carrying something. Let's see what it is. To activate the inventory bar, move your mouse cursor to the top of the screen. Yay, the thing that was in the main menu when it should not have been. Welcome to the bar. Here you can use object Rosangela. So that's her full name, Rosangela. Okay. So let's go. Why did it disappear? Okay, look at objects and characters, right click. Okay. Dr. Donald Quentin, Bellevue Medical Hospital, New York, New York. Miss Blackwell, my name is Dr. Donald Quentin. But didn't the whole address and name and all that 
tell us at least that much. But, you know, whatever. And I was your aunt's primary care physician here at Bellevue Hospital. I have seen to your aunt's needs since she arrived here 25 years ago. Please accept my heartfelt condolences for your loss. Feel free to visit my office at any time. I am sure we have much to discuss. Sincerely, Donald Quentin, M.D. And the date is October 12th, 2006. Now, why did it make me read that? I suppose I can go talk to him, but there's not much of a reason to. I've never seen this kid before in my life. Yeah, kind of figured that out. Let's look at what the front door is like. So near, and yet so far. Wow, she's depressing. The windows look into the lobby of the building. Alright, screw this. Let's get out of here. Go find this Nishanti Sharma, if we can. Or we could go to Bellevue. No, let's find this Nishanti person. Get into the house for him. You know, just get our Washington stuff or whatever. Square. It's been a while since I've been here. Still looks the same, I guess. Although the dog park is empty, I wonder why. Probably because they actually had to clean up after their dogs. I don't know. Seems dog owners don't like doing that. Okay, dog walk entrance and sign. So let's look at the sign. Please note, dog walking park is closed until further notice. Hmm. The dog park is empty. There's no reason to go in there. Yeah, I know. I just thought I'd try anyhow. Let's go to the fountain. Mmm. Now I'm getting a stress headache. I need to get home. Oh, I know how those are. There is nothing worse than a stress headache. Unless it's meat sweats. They can be pretty tough on you. He's wearing one of those extendable leashes. I don't think so. Okay, so you don't want to talk to him. Fine. So he's dog's stuck on the bin. The leash is tied to the trash can. I'm not untying the dog's leash. Nishanti would kill me. How do you know the dog is Nishanti's? That's, That's presuming her. a lot. I recognize her from my building. Nishanti... Sharma, was it? This is going to be awkward. That's a woman? <laughs> I know it's supposed to be, but... Uh, excuse... I can't do it. I can't just barge up to her. Not in front of all those people. They're all staring. Hmm. That's Nishanti Sharma. My next door neighbor, apparently. She's playing some sort of flute. So if I can't go up to her, how am I supposed to talk to her? All right. Here I go. Um, um, uh, no. Okay, that didn't go so well. I just need to work myself up to it. All right, let's try okay, again then. Come on. You can do this. Right. Um. Crap. <laughs> calm down. Need to calm down. Yeah, come on. Give it give it another shot. Just one more. Maybe it'll be the one. Right. This is it. Hi. Um Can I Damn it. This is not working. I can't do this. I just can't. My God, she's whining so. a lot. I'm not untying the dog. No. I can't do this. I just can't. I'll just have to wait until she's finished. Or, I don't know. I can't do this with all those people staring at me. Okay, so... She obviously has a thing about people looking at her. And if I try to talk to her again, she'll probably no. just say the same thing. I can't. I'll just... I can't. Okay. And I won't do anything with the dog. So I have to just get out of here until I can figure out what to do. That's kind of sucky. I 
and there's nothing else in here other than the entrance to the dog park and the exit. So I guess we are going to Bellevue. Let's go look at the nut house. Huh. Those lights were a bit funny there. The sign says I'm not allowed back there. Whoever feckin' listens to signs, let's go. Locked. Whatever's back there, I can't get to it. Damn it! Always a catch. Looks like a fuse box. Judging by the flickering lights, it must be broken. You need maybe a key to open hmm. it. I was gonna say maybe I can fix it, but... I guess I can't. What do we got over here? We can look at the phone. Looks like an internal phone. For paging doctors or patients, I guess. I don't have anyone to call. Figured as much. So, okay, let's go through and see what we can see in here. Maybe there's a doctor we can talk to. Some kind of motivational poster. I'm not stealing stuff from the hospital. Ah, oh, come on. That'd go great in that apartment of yours. Maybe, I don't know, you're very depressing. You, you can, I'm not I can use stealing it. stuff from the hospital. It says that this floor is undergoing renovations. That explains a lot. I don't know why she's complaining about stealing stuff. I mean, it's an adventure game. You're supposed to take everything. I don't think so. Just a small transistor radio. Some small keys. One of them is labeled FB. I assume that means fuse box. I don't think I need any of these keys. So I'm gonna have to get the keys at some point. We know that much. It's the security guard for the hospital. Okay, let's figure out about the lights, see what we can do with that fuse box. What's with the lights? Hey, old buildings, you know? Always got problems. If the plumbing ain't broken, the lights are on the blink. It's giving me a headache, let me tell you. Now let's ask about our aunt and see how she died, if he knows anything at all. Did you have contact with Lauren Blackwell while she was here? Nope. Doesn't ring a bell. She was in uh, temporary care? No, she was in long term. That's a whole different floor. This is the floor for temp patients. I see. So why am I here? So what exactly happens here on the temporary ward? It's just that. Temporary. Most insurance plans only cover a two-week stay, so this floor is designed for a high turnover rate. That's why the doctor's offices are usually down here. They need to be on hand when the new patients arrive. Well, let's see about talking to the doc. I'm here to see Dr. Quentin. Uh-huh. Is he expecting you? I've got this letter right here. Okay. Looks legit. Go right in. Yeah. His name's on the door. You can't miss it. Thanks. See? Looks legit. 